Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will try to see is the DOM is same as the HTML content. So whatever we are writing the HTML content in the editor is the same as the DOM or not. Let's try to see in this video. So first thing what you need to understand is the DOM is not your HTML. The HTML content, whatever you are writing is not the same as the DOM. So DOM is different and also the HTML content is also different. So how come it is the HTML is different from the DOM? Let's try to see. Here if you try to see this one, the sample code HTML document snippet has been added here. So here we are having doc type HTML, the HTML element, head element and body element. Inside the head you are having title tag. And inside the body, you are having h1 and the paragraph element. And if you can, if you try to convert this one to DOM, so what will you be having? Here you will be having the HTML head. So two two trees will be there, head and the body. And inside the head, you will be having a title. And afterwards, you will be having a text node. In the same scenario, in the body, you will be having a h1 element. And the h1 tag, you are having a text node. That is nothing but is this the DOM with the text data and also the paragraph like this. So if you try to see here, the HTML content, whatever we are having is same as the DOM. So same, the DOM is also the same. But when this HTML and the DOM differs is, let's try to see. There are two reasons why your HTML can differ from the DOM. So there the HTML and the DOM looks like same only. But there are two reasons why your HTML document can differ from the DOM. So what is these two differences? The first reason is, that if you have errors in the HTML itself. So when you are having the errors in your HTML itself, I will try to show you what type of errors are those. And the second reason is when the DOM is modified by the JavaScript. When the JavaScript modifies your DOM, your HTML and all those things DOM, so then the HTML and the DOM is not the same. So let's look at this in the more detail. So when you have got the errors in HTML, well, remember that the DOM is the interface for the valid HTML document. So when the DOM is there means it is an interface for the valid HTML document. During the process of creating the DOM, the browser is going to correct some invalidation in your HTML. So when the, when we, when, when the process of creating the DOM is there, so when the DOM is creating, the browser will correct all the invalid HTML into a valid HTML. So let's try to see the example. Here, if you try to see, I have opened HTML element and I have created it and I have added a text node. Hello, simple. So we know that this is not a valid HTML. There is no head tag and also body, body tag. But if you look at the DOM in your browser, it will look like this. So what it is having? HTML it is having, it is having two trees, head and the body, and the body is having a text node with hello. DOM gonna create a head tag and a body tag and within the body tag it created a text node. So like this the DOM will be. Now the HTML document what you are trying to see is different from the DOM. So that is the reason I am trying to tell you. The HTML document what you are trying to see is not the same as the DOM. It will differ in the two reasons. When your HTML is not a valid document then the DOM and the HTML will be different. There is also another reason is when JavaScript modifies the DOM. So this is the thing. That's the first reason we have seen it. When the HTML is not a valid document, the browser will change it to valid document and the DOM is created during the process of DOM creation. The another reason is when the JavaScript modifies the DOM. So when will the JavaScript modify the DOM? I will try to show you a snippet. So here if you try to see a script code, so if you don't have an idea, don't bother about this one. We'll try to discuss it one by one, this one all in the coming upcoming videos. But if you try to see here, we are having the, the top text node, hello. And we are having a script element. In this script element, we are creating a paragraph element. And for paragraph element, we are adding the text modified paragraph. And we are take, we are catching the body element. And in that body element, we are appending this paragraph. So these are adding the paragraph is done through the JavaScript, not through the HTML. Now the DOM will look like this one. Whereas the HTML document, it will look something like here, HTML and the script. But the DOM will look like HTML head 
and a body inside the body you'll be able to see text hello and you'll be able to see the script script node and you'll be having a text node install an extra paragraph will be created where we haven't created anything this paragraph is created through the javascript so this javascript has created this paragraph so that is the reason the dom the javascript modifies the dom so this is not present in the html document but this is this one is modified through the javascript so that is the thing what i want to explain you so here the dom when the dom differs from the html is when the html has the errors and also when the dom is modified with the javascript the dom is also not what you see in the browser so what you are trying to see in the browser the html document the dom is also not that one consider seeing this one html head body and we are having h1 and here if you try to see we are having a paragraph with style display none and some text we are having you should know about the render tree so we uh, so you should know about the render tree if you don't know means we'll discuss about this render tree also so render tree is nothing but the combination of the dom and the css arm it is a combination of the dom and the css arm and what really separates the dom from the render tree is that the render tree only consists of what we will eventually be painted on the screen painted means visible on the screen you can see so it makes sense that the render tree will exclude certain elements that are not meant to be displayed so here we are having a paragraph element right the render tree will not consider about that one we have a paragraph element set to display none so what will happen from the dom point of view is that the dom will eventually have this paragraph so dom will have the paragraph whereas the render tree doesn't have this paragraph why because it is set to display none but the render tree will be excluded from being painted on the screen dom is also not the same what is present in the dev tools so if you try to inspect the element and if you try to see the dom is also not the same what is present in the dev tools so the difference is there bit more minuscule because the dev tools element inspector provides the closest approximation to the dom what that we have in the browser but sometimes the dev tools inspector includes additional information that it is in the dom so what i want to tell you is the dev tools when you are trying to see the inspect element dev tools so it will try to give you the closest approximation closest relation between the dom but sometimes the dev tool inspector includes additional information that it is not present in the dom so the best example is the pseudo elements pseudo elements like before and after so these will insert the elements these will insert the data in the html document in the dom so where in the dev tools it is trying to show you but the uh, data will not be present in the dom so that is the thing which i want to explain you so this is all about so in next we'll try to see about the pseudo elements so this is all about the dom what is not the dom what does not what the dom does not look like is this one so dom dom is not the same as the html html <coughs> okay sometimes html will have errors and also the html when it is modified with the javascript and also dom is not the same as the browser i have told you the browser thing also so dom is not the same as the browser when you have a style display and like this so the render tree will try not try to display that one whereas the dom will not will have that one and also the dom will not have the it is not the same as the dev tools also dev tools also what the dev tools we are trying to see is not the same exactly the same dom same dom so what what does this have is because of the pseudo elements like before and after so this will try to insert the elements in the dom in the dev tools we'll try to see it but whereas in the dom it doesn't have it it doesn't exist so this is all about the dom thing hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any sessions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you